Hello everybody from Carrollton, Texas. This is Cruise Man out on a Sunday morning out on the 2018 Goldwing. It's just such a really nice morning. It's about 82 degrees, but not as humid as it's been and not terribly windy. We got a little bit of a breeze, but no more than normal around here. It's been a while since I've done a moto vlog, so I thought this today would be a good opportunity to check in with everybody, update you on some of the stuff that's going on on the YouTube channel and the website and the Facebook page. You know, I'm not a huge Facebook, um, I guess I should say fan. I'm not particularly crazy about the way it works, but I do have a pretty active Facebook page. Got quite a few followers, so if you're on Facebook, check out Cruise Man's Garage. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get to us and like our page and follow us. I still don't know what the difference is between liking a page and following. But uh, anyway, we post stuff there. Anytime we post new videos or anytime I'm out for a ride or doing something, I'll post on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, in case you guys happen to be on Instagram. And I, I do post some pictures of the Goldwing and myself from time to time while I'm out riding. So if you're on Instagram, it's Cruise Man's Garage. It's the same uh, handle in both places and on YouTube, for that matter. But anyway, it's a Sunday morning in Carrollton. It's, like I said, about 82 degrees, pretty nice out. In the last motor vlog I did, I gave you a little bit of history on my uh, background in motorcycling, how I got into motorcycling. And I was amazed at how many people had a similar background. A lot of you posted comments, and a lot of you said you either had a Trail 70, a mini Trail 70 as a kid growing up, because you got to be pretty old to even remember the Trail 70. But uh, I had a 1969. Trail 70, and I think I told you the story last time. I think the day I got that was the happiest day of my life. My mom took me down to Glenn's Honda in Midland, Texas, after school one day, and uh, I'll tell you what, I really tore it up on that bike. And then I, I kind of graduated. And the reason I'm going through this is because a lot of you seem to really find my motorcycle history interesting so I'll fill in a little more details and then I'll try to advance into the future as we go along but I moved from that trail 70 up to a Suzuki 50 believe it or not I went down in CC's but the Suzuki 50 gaucho had more horsepower and actually had a five-speed transmission it was actually more of a motorcycle than the trail 70 and uh, I think there was a law back then, it may still exist today, that if you're under a certain age, you couldn't ride a motorcycle. I think it was over 70 cc's or maybe it was over 100 cc's. I can't remember, but that's why I got the Suzuki 50. And then once I turned 16, or maybe right before I turned 16, maybe it was 15, I don't remember, I got a Suzuki 125 Duster. A powder blue. It was a really nice looking bike. And I rode that bike everywhere around Midland, Texas also. I can still remember on that Suzuki 50 though. <laughs> I was a pretty big kid. You know, not, not just heavy, but I was tall. So I smothered that little Suzuki 50. I was way too big for it. But um, let me change lanes here. I remember one time, I guess I've always had a uh, penchant for touring, because I remember one Sunday afternoon, not unlike today, in Midland, Texas, I was probably 15 years old, and I decide I'm going to ride that little Suzuki 50 from Midland to Big Spring, Texas, which is about a 45 mile drive, and um, gosh, you know, I don't think I took anything with me. I was just going to do a long road trip, 45 miles. That's a long road trip on a 50cc bike. You probably only go 50 miles an hour, top speed. 
but uh, about halfway to Big Spring, the bike broke down, fouled the spark plug. I was able to take the spark plug out and check it, and I, it was gone, and I didn't have a replacement. So here I am in the summer, probably 95 degrees outside, and I'm walking that Suzuki 50 back to Midland. I've got probably 10 or 15 miles to walk. And, um, you know, back then, nobody ever suffered from dehydration. So we didn't have bottled water. You know, you didn't, you didn't carry water with you anywhere as a kid. If you wanted a drink of water, you drank out of a rubber hose. Some of you probably remember that you still remember the taste of drinking water out of a rubber hose. God only knows what was in that water. But we didn't have bottled water and nobody needed to stay hydrated. The only time people needed to stay hydrated is when they started selling water in bottles. Then all of a sudden everybody had to stay hydrated. But God, we used to play outside in the summer all summer long. Play 18 holes of golf in 95 degree temperature. No, we never got dehydrated. Now I see parents walking behind their kids on the golf course, making sure they take a drink of water every time they make a shot. Anyway, that's another story. So here I am out on this highway, walking that Suzuki 50 back to Midland, and there's no traffic back then. I mean, this is on Interstate 20, probably on the service road. If there was a service road, I don't even remember. Some guy stops in a pickup truck and offers to, you know, put the bike in the back of his truck and take me back to Midland. Now that kind of thought would terrify a parent today. That, you know, a 15 year old out by himself on a highway, I don't remember anything about the guy. I uh, just was nice enough to stop and help me. I don't even remember where he dropped me off. Maybe he dropped me off at my house. I don't remember now, it's been so long. But that was one of my first long distance touring adventures. I think I made it 15 miles before the bike broke down. But anyway, now I've got a bunch of stories like that if you guys are interested. I've, you know, they're just kind of crazy stories. A lot of stuff happening on the YouTube channel. I'm doing a lot of remodeling. I've changed the look and feel of the channel. I'm adding consistent thumbnails across all my videos. All my moto, moto vlogs have one particular look to them. All my uh, tips and tricks and review videos have a different look. If I'm doing installation videos for a third party company, they each have their own individual uh, style and color. So we're trying to clean up the channel and make it more professional and really build it into a substantial uh, YouTube channel. And I hope you all like the changes. We've also started using the community tab. I post some things from time to time there just to let everybody know what's going on. Sometimes I'll post a little poll or a survey or I'll just tell you what I'm getting ready to do. But if you have any comments on the channel, or on the Moto Vlogs, I'd love to hear it. You know, I, I, try to, I try to read every comment that's posted. We're starting to get hundreds of comments. And what's really interesting is we're getting followers from all over the world. There's a lot of Goldwing owners around the world. I've got followers in Finland and Ireland, and even Saudi Arabia and Dubai. We have some followers in uh, Oh, all over Europe, Australia, New Zealand. It's just pretty amazing the reach of this social media platform. So doesn't matter where you're from and, or even really what you ride. Um, I enjoy reading your comments and, and uh, we appreciate your input too. So what's coming up on the channel is hopefully this next week. I'll be doing an installation video on the new Rivco Products trailer hitch for the 2018 Goldwing. That's the plan. So hopefully I'll be getting that trailer hitch in and hopefully we'll be doing some more videos for Rivco in the future. But um, I'm excited because 
with the limited storage space on the 2018 Goldwing, you know, any long distance trip of any substance is really going to make a trailer almost a necessity. So I'm excited to see how their trailer works and how it installs and how it pulls my Bush Tech trailer. I have a Bush Tech. A 2007 Bush Tech Quantum GL Sport, I believe is what it is. And uh, I've been all over the country with that trailer and it's been very, very reliable and really very, uh, very good experience pulling that trailer. So that's what's coming up. We'll be doing more moto vlogs. Also, uh, let me know down below if you're planning on going to Wingding in August. I've, I have reservations. Um, planning to go to Wingding and spend at least three nights. I don't know how much of the events I'll go to. I'm not a member of GWRA or whatever it is. But um, I may just want to go hang out with some of the guys, some of you, some of my YouTube followers and Facebook followers. Just it's always nice to see people in person, get to meet them. So if you're going to Wingding, put it down in the comments. Let me know or send me an email. Now I'm going to put some links in the description of this video down below. So if you want to get to my YouTube page or my Instagram and you want to follow me, feel free to do that. I'm on Twitter too, but it's not Cruise Man's Garage on Twitter. It's Cruise Man Garage. I don't think Twitter would allow me to put that extra character in. So I was able to get Cruise Man Garage, but not Cruise Man's Garage. Anyway, I am on Twitter. I'm not real active on Twitter. I'm more active on Facebook and Instagram, but I do have a Twitter account, and anytime I post a new video, it shows up on Twitter. So anyway, once again, thanks for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you like these videos and all my other videos. And remember to click on that little bell icon. That little bell icon will notify you anytime I post a new video. And I've been posting quite a few lately. I'm also working on a new trailer for the website, so once I get that done, I'll motor vlog about it and let you know. Anyway, that's Cruise Man for now. I'm Carrollton, Texas, signing off. Talk to you later.